Hi, I'm Laura Chippendale. I'm a Senior Energy Project Officer here at Nottingham City Council and I'm part of the team that's helping Nottingham to become the first carbon neutral city by 2028. You can find out more about our Carbon Action Plan at our website and I will add details at the end of this video if you'd like to take a look. Today's 28 for 28 challenge is about plastics and as part of our Carbon Neutral Action Plan Nottingham has committed to become a plastic-free council by 2023. Um, so you might be wondering why this is so important. Um, so humans have made a lot of plastics. 8.3 billion metric tonnes since the 1950s. Wait, that's heavier than the moon! <laughs> is that true? Yeah. And the problem is, is that plastic is not biodegradable. So when we finished using it, it doesn't break down into something that's natural. It can take thousands of years to break down. And even at that point, it becomes microplastics, so tiny little pieces of plastic that can be eaten by uh, fish and animals, and also leaves toxins in the soil that can still pollute the environment. So plastic really harms the environments and biodiversity. And I'm sure you've all seen the photographs of animals that have got, you know, can rings around their necks and, you know, when the whales get sick because they've eaten loads of plastic and they can't digest it. And every year we just make more and more. So we're just adding to the problem. That's right, Lexi. So we have found ways to recycle plastic, which they're melted down and made into something else so it can be reused again. But we actually only do that with about 9% of plastics. So virtually every piece of plastic ever made still exists in some shape or form and 8 million tonnes of that ends up in our oceans every single year. That's the same as one truck of single-use plastic being dumped into the ocean every single minute. How do you even know that? So at Nottingham City Council we are identifying all of our single-use plastic to work out actually just how much we use, what we use and we're working together to find more sustainable replacements. We've already introduced a refill campaign across the city to help reduce the use of plastic water bottles. So you can take a water bottle and you can fill it up at some of the locations across the city. And we've also got a team of plastic champions who are helping the Plastics Task Force to really tackle this issue. So today's challenge is to collect all the single use plastic from around your home take a picture and post it using the hashtag 28 for 28 and that's 28 F O R 28 and because we've been trying to reduce our own household plastic I thought we would give it a go I'm a little nervous This is a lot of plastic. It is. Yeah, it's a lot more than I thought we would have. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in myself. So, what do you think out of this we don't need? That's unnecessary or we could buy something else that's, that's not plastic? Chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> See, what else do you think we could get rid of? Uh, these. Yeah? Because... There's other ones that are made out of coconut. That's true, yeah. So we can see the kitchen sponges and you can actually get ones made out of coconut husk. So they're biodegradable, so... <laughs> you don't need to buy vegetables in plastic, Laura. No, that's true. We've got disposable razors. Um, but we do actually have safety razors as well. We've just not quite braved getting used to them. Yeah, like, we've got bread, we can make bread, we've got cleaning products, there are alternatives to that. We can buy chocolate that's... I think we should exclude chocolate out of this. <laughs> and the good thing to remember is if you can replace plastic with glass, is glass can be recycled again and again and again. So it's a lot more sustainable. Cling film. Don't need it. Don't need it. And we don't need it even more because we actually have an alternative for this. Um, so we've got 
wax wraps. It smells really good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> smells like honey. So these are bits of fabric that have beeswax infused into them. It is sustainable beeswax, these ones that we got. And where do you think all this ends up? And how much do you think of this out of this gets recycled or can be recycled? Not even 10%. That's right. Guys, it's important to remember we don't need a few people doing it perfectly. We need lots of people doing it imperfectly. So every little bit helps. And if you do get stuck, just remember the five R's. Rethink, refuse, reduce, reuse, and recycle. We'd love to hear from you. So share your videos, your thoughts, and helpful tips using hashtag 28 for 28. That's hashtag 28FOR28. You can share this video with your friends and family. Or even your school. Let's get everybody talking about plastic. Good luck! Good luck. Why you gotta buy plastic?